Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can find tabs. So on the screen, I have a default copy of Word. Now when you first get Word, you do not have the ruler displayed, which I think is a mistake. I think it should be displayed as default. To activate the ruler, go View, Ruler, and then you can see the ruler, you still can't see tabs on the ruler, but on the left hand side you do have a little tab symbol. So without the ruler you wouldn't see that. Now where can you find tabs in addition to the ruler? You would have to go into the paragraph dialog box and then down the bottom here you have tabs. So it's quite a convoluted way to find where tabs are. So cancel that and take the ruler off for a second. So if you come into this on home, there is no tab option on the ribbon itself. Now you can add the tabs dialog box onto your quick access toolbar. If I just do that, if you're going to do these all the time, more commands and then all commands. Click into the list somewhere and then just type T for tabs. Scroll down until you see tabs. There she be, and then you can knock that across like so, click OK, and then you'll get tabs quickly there. So that's just missing out the paragraph dialog, dialog box step tabs. So that's how we can do it. So my recommendation is activate the ruler, because not only can you see tabs on the ruler, you can see indents on the ruler, and if you click onto the ruler itself, you actually can put a tab on, so I'm putting one at every two centimeters there. The left tab is indicated in this corner, which means when I type, if I just go name, age, um, gender, and email, you can see that every time I press tab, instead of going the default distance, which is one point to seven centimeters it's now jumping two centimeters now if I pull these tabs off because this is a quick way of putting them on or taking them off you can see it now drops back to the default options if you want to see tab markers you need to go to the home tab and click on show hide and then you can see these little arrows which means there is a tab there so if I just backspace these so now there's no tabs. And if I put a tab marker at 5, at 8, at 11, and 13, when I press tab now, it jumps to the first one. If I click there, the second one, and then the next one. And again, the last one, because I did one, two, three, I didn't do the first one. So that's how you can put tabs on using the ruler. Now let's get rid of all of these, delete them. So clear the ruler off. If I change this symbol, you can see that as I click on this, it changes to reveal different tab types, and there's an indent, and then back to the left tab. So let's have a look at this. If I click on number four and press tab and type my name, Steve Saxton, you can see that the tab marker is a left tab and the text comes in to the document. If I press enter, Pull that tab off. I'll just get rid of show hide for a minute. Change this to a center tab and put that on at four centimeters. Press tab, type Steve Saxton again. Now you can see that the information comes out either side of that tab. Press enter, pull that tab off and click again. Now I'll get a right tab. Press tab type my name and you can see that the text is coming in from the right so this right tab for example in the header and footer if I just double click into the header and footer you've got a right tab there look and you've got a center tab there and there's no tab there so if I press tab once it goes to the center if I press it again it goes to the right and then if I type it's coming into the document from the right I just double click out of that press enter Pull that one off and then a very common tab style or type 
is the next one, which is a decimal place. If I just click it back on at four centimeters, tab, type some money or type some figures with a decimal point, tab, tab. You can see what it's doing here. It's lining up the decimal point like so. So you're never going to line money up or figures like that by doing um, the space bar banging across it doesn't work you might get nine out of ten correct but then the last one will be slightly off and it looks it looks bad when you print it off now this is me putting tabs on through the option on the left there if I click it again you can see you've got a little a little dash if I like if I just pull this one off and put that one on um, I'm already there I'm where it is now you've got a line if I start pressing enter and bringing that line down the page so you could have a, a if you want to print this piece of paper off with lines on it going vertical you could use these little markers these little bar tabs as they're called now I'm going to clear all of this off I'm just going to highlight control a everything and pull all these tabs off now just make sure everything's gone so everything's come back to the to the left I'll just delete the text as well obviously that is one way of putting things on and off but you can actually go into the tab box so remember normally it is in the paragraph group and then tabs but I've added a button to get into the tabs dialog box up there up there So what you do on this one, there's a default, 1.27, which is half an inch in old money, or if you're in the States, half an inch. So let's put a tab marker at 5, set, and 10, set. So that's what you have to do. Now you've got all these different options of left, right, center, which I've just been doing. And you've also got leader dots here. So whichever leader dot type you want you can just select but I don't want it on the first line so I'll just click OK and then I'll just do a little demonstration name department tab each time extension now I'm pressing enter twice these tabs have come down but now the rest of the table or little um, list that I'm going to create I want leader dots on so you go back into your tabs dialog box and at five you want number two leader dot set and you also want it for the 10 as well to set so for each one you have here you have to select the leader dot type and set one at a time and then click OK so if I type John tab I get the leader dots he can be in sales tab one two three enter enter Dave tab retail tab extension press enter I'm going to press enter twice because it's a habit I've got now I need to clear tabs now I can pull them off from there but I'm just going to go back into the tab dialog box and clear all from this point on so if I put the show hide on you can see where the tabs are so down here there are no tabs I've obviously pressed enter before when I was doing that demonstration so you can get rid of those if you want they're just blank lines if I click up here the tabs are on so are the leader dots for that line if I start pressing enter now I will press enter once there I'm bringing those down into the next line so you've got to be careful you don't do that um, I'll just undo control Z to get rid of that take the show hide off and that is my table ready to go no tabs on the ruler so the ruler is pretty crucial to be honest without the ruler you can't actually see in a document whether there are any tabs on you can put show hide on but that's not as that doesn't tell you where they where they where they are and as you go down a bigger document you no know, these tab markers will be jump could be jumping about all over that ruler so i would recommend that you do put the ruler on as a matter of fact and the good news is once you've put it on once you've clicked view ruler on it stays on for all the new documents so it doesn't just disappear so anyhow that's just a quick video on how to find tabs where tabs are in word when you first get word so hopefully that was of use for you thank you for your time and i'll see you in the next one